all right guys welcome back to my channel I'm missing if you're new here I do cooking vlogs and um, what I ate in a day and little grocery hauls I have a rambunctious I have a crazy little husky his name is link I have four kids the ages of 10 10 12 and almost 17 I am 36 years old and I am a single working mom uh, I thought that I wanted to do kind of a end of the week type thing uh, one of my favorite youtubers that I watch life by Jen she does that she does like a recap of the week and I think it's a really good idea so I wanted to do one of those I don't really have much recording footage for the weekend it was my boyfriend's birthday we had a great time we didn't really like go do anything because we didn't really have much money but we did go out to eat a couple of times and uh overall it was just a really good time the week started okay you know we had some bad weather here so i missed a couple of days of work luckily i was able to take um personal time so i got paid for one of the days one of the days i didn't then i took a vacation day for friday because Thursday night I, is when I went and picked up my boyfriend and brought him over and his birthday was Saturday. So we went to Buffalo Wild Wings and I made the decision to kind of have a little bit of a cheat meal. I wanted to enjoy myself and not have to worry about what I was eating and etc. So I had a burger with no bun and a side salad but I also had some fried pickles. So that was my cheat for that meal. Uh, I stayed keto, low carb, whatever you want to call it, for the rest of the day. So I did have a cheat. The next day, his actual birthday, we went out to dinner at a Mexican restaurant and I had some, <laughs> he's so beautiful, I had some tortilla chips and some salsa and um, so the chips were kind of the only thing and then I had um, a big it was like a fajita, they called it like a fajita nacho, but really it was kind of like in a chalupa shell, a really big chalupa shell, but then it was filled with like steak and all these peppers, lettuce, sour cream, guacamole, cheese, and onion. So that's what I had. And now I didn't eat the shell, but um, all that onion, too much onion, that's, that's a lot of carbs. So I did go over my carbs. However, I did not track over the weekend at all. It was a cel celebration and I didn't want to worry about what I was eating. I wanted to stay low carb, but I also wanted to enjoy myself. So when he had ice cream, I made my keto ice cream. You know, I still made good choices. I didn't overeat. I didn't stuff myself until I couldn't breathe. I feel like I did all right. I did notice just by those little amounts of carbs that I did eat. What are you doing? Stop it. Stop. I did notice by the little bit of carbs that I did eat, I got bloated. I got... That's my boyfriend. I got bloated. I got gassy. I felt tired. I felt like lazy. And I had a really hard time being awake today. Now, I did not have any coffee yesterday and I did not have any coffee today. I did feel a little bit more awake earlier in the day. I did have a one of the low carb monster energy drinks and I got a little bit more energy there. But overall, I think I kind of usually do feel a little tired on Sundays just because it's the week's end. So I had some plans that I wanted to do. My daughter's cleaning her room, so if you heard that. I moved around a sewing machine desk in my room and I moved it over here so I can have my makeup station over here and then I want to bring my computer desk from downstairs and put it over there in my room and that will be like my recording area and I want to put like you know a nice light something I want it to look nice so when I sit here you don't see blank wall my neighbors are very loud I'd love to blame that on my kids but that's not my kids so that's the plans for that but I need to wait until I have some money to purchase a 50 foot ethernet cord because I am not 
using a wireless connection with my computer. I refuse. Hmm. Apparently that video where I talked about um, domestic abuse, um, my boyfriend just watched it. He said I cut it off way too early and I don't know why it cut off so soon. So that miss uh, a lot of parts of the video was missing then. I, I went on to talk about how um, I would love for my video to mean something and for anybody who ever is struggling or going through any of those types of things to always feel free to message me no matter what platform it's on. I am always available to talk and I will never give out any of your information. If you felt like you needed to speak to somebody, I'm here. So that's another thing I put out of a really emotional video and um, it really meant a lot to me and I really thank all of you for accepting me for who I am and not judging me on my past and um, it felt good it felt like I got to get a weight off my shoulder um, a lot of people in my own personal life don't know that I was um, in that type of relationship they know that I'm no longer with him and that you know he wasn't a nice person but a lot of people don't know that um, I would say actually like I mean, I'm not close with my dad. I don't even know the last time I spoke with him, but he doesn't know anything about it. His side of the family, the same thing. Um, my mom know, 